Hi, this is Clay Hood with Perfect Pitch Golf, and let's look at three ways you can improve your chipping right now. So here's number one. We want to get our weight forward. We want to get our hands a little bit forward. A lot of golfers tend to set up with a wide stance and their weight back here. They're trying to get the club under the ball. It makes it very difficult to hit the ball solid, and they hit miss hits. So here's what we want to do. We want to get a narrow stance. We want to put the weight on our front foot. We want to get our hands kind of even with our left thigh there. And from there, everything's leaning forward. It's able we're able to get this golf club working down, hitting the ball solid. Here's what this is going to look like. So weight forward, hands forward, makes it a little bit easier to hit the golf ball solid. The next thing we want to do is work on our balance and our tempo of our chipping stroke. So people who chip very well, they have nice tempo when they chip, they have nice balance. The back swing and the follow through are similar sizes. People who struggle oftentimes will have a very abrupt follow through or a short back swing and a big follow through. That makes it very difficult to hit the ball solid, makes it tough to control how far you hit the ball. So let's take some practice swings. Let's focus on nice smooth rhythm and that nice balance. Our backstroke and our follow through are similar sizes. So here's what that's going to look like. The last tip that we're going to work that we're going to look at is club selection. So we've got a shot here. We're going to go to the shot, the, the hole across the green. A lot of golfers want to take too much loft, like a sand wedge or a lob wedge. The shot's going to come up short. They're going to hit it, or they're going to hit it way too far. The other side of the golfers, they want to take a six iron or a five iron and try to get the ball rolling too much. That is difficult because it becomes difficult to judge how far to hit it because the golf ball comes out so hot. So let's take anything from a gap wedge to a nine iron. This is a pitching wedge. And this is going to make it a little bit easier to get the ball up in the air and then rolling the rest of the way to the hole. So here's what it's going to look like. So I've got my weight forward. I'm going to make a nice balanced stroke here. So we can see there that pitching wedge got the ball up in the air enough, but also got it rolling enough that we're able to get the ball close to the hole. So try those three things. You're going to have better luck on the golf course. You're going to find yourself getting up and down more often.